मेरे आंसर ले हमरे अब नेपाल में अब बोती ले कम करते कि आज घरे में अली हमरे लासे ही दुस्लासे मेरे मन में से अब सब कोई ठमा बोती कम सा कोई ठमा पानी कम सा है ना ते ठमा अब ये ले अली धेरे सपोर्ट करते ही दुस्लासे Here at the Razawagadi Hydro Project on the border with China, Nepal is hoping to build its future. The project, one of more than 100 hydro plants under construction in the Himalayan nation, will add 10% to the country's existing power generation when it comes online in a few years. Nepal's development stalled as the country battled a civil war ending in 2006. It was dealt a further blow in 2015 when earthquakes killed 9,000 people. With the country experiencing a period of relative peace and memories of the earthquakes fading, work on hydro is ramping up. But the work isn't without its risks. I have one friend, morning time when he, uh, he go inside the tunnel, just to take the face, one big boulder fall down over him, you know, and suddenly he died. Landslides, flash floods, collapsing tunnels and earthquakes threaten these sites. Deaths and accidents are common. Nearby, an excavator lies abandoned at another site. It was flipped in a landslide during the earthquakes two years ago. Abandoned for two years, locals use the work site as a soccer pitch. The largest project under construction, Upper Tamakoshi, is almost finished. When it starts running, it will add 50% to the country's power supply. Workers are racing to finish a protective spillway before the monsoon hits. Nepal needs hydropower. Near Kathmandu's historic Pathan Square, Dinesh Mahajan is still trying to rebuild his house two years after the earthquake. Rolling blackouts last year meant workers couldn't use power tools, slowing progress. I a 20% jump in hydropower last year, combined with energy imports from India, largely solved the shortages. Soon, Nepal hopes to not only produce enough cheap hydro to cut down on expensive imports, but trade surplus energy with India and Bangladesh. One, two, three. Nepal's Electricity Authority hopes to boost generation tenfold in the next decade, using money from its own coffers and abroad. Everybody wants to uh, invest in the hydropower in Nepal itself, public sector and private sector. In next two, three years, it will be a very uh, good position in the hydropower sector in Nepal. <laughs>